Hi, my dear conscious creators, beautiful friends, and just overall amazing people. In today's video, I want to share my three top hotspots, <laughs> the three places around the world that um, I, for me personally, as a location-dependent entrepreneur, as a digital nomad, someone who lives and works anywhere um, with my online business, um, have really... Ah, they're just my favorite places <laughs> these days and I spend a lot of time in them and will probably continue to do so. And uh, I do have a few criteria, things that I need in a place um, so that it makes sense for me to stick around and keep coming back. Those are, for example, I need access to good, healthy vegan foods and vegan cafes, restaurants, um, healthy supermarkets. Um, I need yoga. I need yoga studios. I need some competent, awesome yoga teachers. I need the ocean. I need warm temperatures. And at best, um, there's co-working spaces, a community of entrepreneurs, a creative vibe, something like that. So what are these three places that I really love so much? Number one, I'm in it right now. I'm in Mexico, and Mexico is really, really awesome. It's one of my absolute favorite countries in the whole wide world. And right now I'm in Playa del Carmen, um, really a place that wasn't very high on my list before because there's so many more amazing places in Mexico for sure. And I've traveled all over the country several times, um, here in Yucatan, over on the West Coast, but also everywhere in between. There's a lot of great spots. But Playa Carmen, actually, it's been growing on me. I've been here for more than a month now, and, you know, it, just, it ticks off a lot of the boxes. Great vegan food, great yoga, co-working spaces, it's warm, um, there's the beach. So, you know, it's, it's, quite, it's quite a few things that I like and enjoy, and I've had a few really, really good friends around since I arrived, so that definitely helped. But it is actually a little secret digital nomad destination here for sure, and I feel like it's growing even more. Um, I also really like Oaxaca, uh, which is more uh, towards the other side. Um, and I kind of wish that a place like Puerto Escondido, you know, have maybe a co-working space because I surf, and I do really like Oaxaca and, that, and, that, uh, and the coast around there a lot. And there's also a small town called Sayulita, which is further up north on the coast. Just is it south or north of Puerto Vallarta? Um, so it's a little a little destination for entrepreneurs as well. Um, and then there's San Cristobal de las Casas, which is also a really beautiful town and uh, not as hot as down here. Um, and uh, yeah, very special place. Mexico City is great if you know if you love the city then uh, that's uh, actually a really, really cool place to be. I'm not a city person, but I love Mexico City for what it is, and I feel like it's really underestimated. And so there's, you know, and there's more places around in Mexico. These are just a few. And um, yeah, I'll, I've been coming to Mexico for many years, and I'll be coming back. Place number two is, and maybe it's not hard to guess, but uh, Bali. Uh, I had my home base there uh, on and off for about three years yeah yeah i mean i started going to bali i think my first time in bali was in 2009 actually and i was working on the gillies as a scuba dive instructor but also went in and out of bali a lot but then yeah 2015 14 is when i discovered bali as a digital nomad as someone who is vegan and a yogi and all that and and in that respect bali has a lot to offer especially in changu and in ubud um, i mean there's a lot of critical points to say about the development of tourism in bali and i don't want to go down that rabbit hole uh, but for me personally living in Bali, having a base there. Um, I thought it was great. Uh, I, had a, I had a really great time there. I just gave up my home base there in January. I'll always keep going back to Bali, that's for sure. It's very dear to my heart. Um, and I mean, it's hard to trump the amazing vegan food there. Uh, the yoga is just, it's really, really awesome. I did my yoga teacher training there in 2015. And I mean, the surf, I mean, Bali is just a really magical place. Uh, but as I said, um, there's a lot to be said for, you know, a lot of the negative aspects to that as well. 
And now number three of my top, top hotspots around the world, and that will be Southern California, my friends. I do love California. I love LA. I love Encinitas. Those are my two favorite places down there, and I've spent quite a lot of time there in the last few years. Uh, I actually just spent three months um, in Southern California uh, beginning of this year before I came here to Mexico. And it really, I don't know, it's the, the climate for sure. It's, you know, the ocean, the Pacific, the surf, the nature, I think is really, really cool down there. But it's also, it's, there's a big conscious community in Encinitas and obviously in LA. It's a very creative, inspiring vibe. And I just made some really cool connections there. I feel, yeah, I feel really inspired when I'm down there. Um, I think LA was a city that I, I never really understood until I did. <laughs> and I love Venice Beach. I love Silver Lake. I love, I love, all, I love the whole city. It's, it's a really cool place. Uh, lots of vegan food, uh, lots of amazing yoga. I mean, yeah, amazing yoga teachers. I mean, the quality of yoga in LA is, is really, really amazing. And actually as well in Encinitas, it's just like this nice little small like hippie town <laughs> if you can call it that maybe more like a hippie hipster surfer town but uh great conscious community great vegan food great yoga amazing surf the coastline is just mind-blowing it's right in between la and san diego ah i could just go on and on and on i can't wait to be back um i just love being there and i hope to kind of turn Turn that area into my home base in the long run. That would be amazing. That's kind of my, my goal for sure. And so, yeah, those are my three hot spots, um, my three favorite places around the world. And I'd love to know which ones are yours. Are you digital nomad, location independent with your business? Where do you like to spend your time? Um, share with me in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe to my channel. Join my Facebook group. Uh, follow me on Instagram. All of these things. Thank you. I appreciate you. Bye. Mwah.